one ranked Logan Stever took it on. Number two ranked Mitchell Fort, Fort Central Pennsylvania's finest versus Northwest Ohio's Logan Stever. Christian Piles ranking these gentlemen number one and two. And Logan Stever, the number one pound for pound wrestler in all of the land as ranked by Christian Piles. He's good. Uh, Port number two, Midlands champ. Third in the country last year. Losing to Henderson of North Carolina in the quarterfinals, coming back and taking third. Stever won the weight. Stever looking over Ty Shuck. He likes that. He's sneaky with it. And Stever Port is on. We are nearly a minute in there. Just shot left hand ahead inside single leg. Logan Stever looking for that lower single below the knee now on the shin. Port shaking hands with him there, wrenching on that hand. Nice job, and Stever sticks with it. Oh my goodness, Logan Stever is strong as is Mitchell Port. Now Stever is going to kick over looking for that Jordan Oliver two-point takedown that he hit in the NCAA Finals as a freshman. I know that hurt Willie Saylor, but I had to say it. Drops down to the ankle, and they got a count. And Ford done a nice job, and now he's flattened out. Stever loves that claw, working the claw, thigh pry on the right side. And Logan Stever had a tough one last week against Dardanes. This is 141 pounds to your top pound for pound wrestlers in the country. That means. Any weight class, folks. These guys are as good as anybody in the country anyway. So right now, Mitchell Port fourth in the pound for pound by Christian Piles. Logie Bear, number one. Stever riding tough on top. He's got 40 seconds of ride time. Puts Port back down on the mat. Logan Stever is 10 seconds away from getting the ride time. Up over a minute, 25 seconds left in the period. And Stever, Port, Stever on top right now, riding tough. He's at a minute of ride time now. 15 seconds left in the period. 2-0 lead, Logan Stever on Mitchell Port. And Stever's done a masterful job of keeping him down on the mat. He's got to avoid giving up a short time take uh, escape here to Port. Two seconds left in the period.
second, Mitchell Port got that escape, a short time escape, and makes it 2-1. And Port gonna try and go to work, take some of that ride time down. Stever started the period at 116, the ride time now at 106 and counting down as long as Port is on top. And Stever's been tripoded up here. And the ride time now down below a minute. Stever up to his feet. Port looking to Matt return belly bump. There's a roll by Stever. Now he's in on a single. His head down, but Port's still in control. And they're at least gonna go loss of control here. And they go loss of control, and I think Stever's got some blood. Stever with some blood. So we got an injury timeout for Logan Stever here. Not, not, it's blood. It's going to go up substantially here, folks. Port Stever. 114 left in the second. 3-1 Logan Stever. And he's got 40 seconds around. Mitchell Port ranked number two in the country. Takes a little half shot on Stever. They're in the center of the mat wrestling here. 57 seconds left. They're almost on top of the big Scotsman. Port. Taking some ground on Stever. The grip fighting now. And Stever doesn't look panicked. They're collar tying. Stever to the face a little bit. Stever left handed head inside single leg. Let's have cut it across. And now he's in deep on that. Looking to catch the foot. Digs down the foot. Looking to shelf the foot maybe. Fort with freakishly flexible knees. Doing a nice job with that closed wizard on Stever. Stever goes Johnny to Julius on him almost. And 16 seconds left in the second. And it's gonna be 10 seconds now. Looks like we're gonna be 3-1 going into the third here. It's gonna be Fort's choice. Fort's choice 3-1 going into the third. Ride time at 40 seconds for Stever and Fort going underneath to start the third. Well, here we go. 3 1 lead. Logan Stever, he's at 40 seconds of ride time. He covers. And there's Port with a little bit of a roll. Stever with a half deep waist. Looking to get some turn action here. 10 seconds away from getting his ride time up over a minute right now. Stever floating sides like a ghost. Unbelievable. Like a specter, folks. He's up at a minute ride time now. Port up and out. 104 ride time over to Stever. And an escape from Mitchell Port. 3 2 match. Port takes him down. He can take that ride time down with five seconds of riding. He can take down and ride out for the win here. 120 left in the third period. Mitchell Port, Logan Stever. 3 2 match right now. Stever with the lead. Port taking ground on and pushing right now. Little shuck. Tries to go to a shot. Stever backs back to the center. And the Edinburgh Fighting Scots want to take down here. And Stever looks to punch him and had a single. Now to a double. Rubber knee there by Port. Stever looking to take him out. Puts him on his butt. Two take down Logan Stever. That's going to make it 5 to 2. And that one might ice it. 46 seconds left unless Port can get out right away. doing some cat and mouse riding here and he might get dinged for stalling here. He's up around the waist now. And Port into him, but Stever cuts across. Gets his head on the other side, now riding. He had to cross his leg there, riding him, crowding him. Looks like an arm turn. Like a leg lace, actually. And now Stever hanging on. His ride time's insurmountable. He's effectively got a 16 lead. Even if Port gets a reversal or one and one, he still can't win the match. And to their 
going to make it 5 3, but it's actually 6 3. He's got to go feed the back on Stever. Take down Old Manor. One point four four seconds, four. and Logan Stever is going to win the Super Matchup.